liver metastasis from colorectal cancer are a certain challenge because we do know that if patients have liver limited disease only they have a better prognosis and once they can be surgically removed with or without chemotherapy patients can even be cured if they're completely removed however there's also the situation that patients have liver limited disease so meaning liver is the most important organ for metastasization of colorectal cancer, they also have a better prognosis. And here we come to the point that it could be beneficial to specifically treat these metastases once they are only confined to the liver. Current strategies to manage the disease here are chemotherapy or chemotherapy in combination with monoclonal antibodies, so meaning systemic treatment, as this is treating liver metastases and the extrahepatic disease also. But it could be interesting also to treat liver limited disease specifically. And there are also options for patients with liver limited disease to integrate ablative treatment strategies like radiofrequency ablation or local radiotherapy to liver metastases. And also techniques like liver directed systemic treatment like chemoembolization or liver confined chemotherapy only. But the standard is systemic chemotherapy plus minus monoclonal antibodies. Yttrium-90 microspheres um, are particles which are loaded with radioactive parts and they are selectively being distributed to the liver via the liver artery. So therefore this is a method which could be interesting for patients with more than one or two or four metastases confined to the liver because the whole liver is irradiated. Yttrium-90 radioembolization was used in refractory colorectal cancer nearly exclusively. There are reports for patients which underwent successful treatment with this, which are now published 10, 12 years ago. And also five years ago, a randomized phase two trial was published looking on chemotherapy plus minus yttrium-90 radioembolization, but in refractory colorectal cancer patients. This was a combination of 5-FU plus minus yttrium-90, showing that yttrium-90 microspheres add to prolongation of disease-free survival in these very much pretreated patients or chemorefractory patients. But currently, we do not have any evidence uh, that this may be beneficial in earlier treatment lines. The SILFLOG study is now the proof of concept in first-line treatment of patients with metastatic colorectal cancer. Design is very easy. It's a standard chemotherapy for FOX with or without bevacizumab up to the investigator's uh, decision. And the randomization was only after the first or the second administration of FOLFOX to give a SIRT yttrium-90 uh, radioembolization once to the patient. I've shown that there is no improvement in progression-free survival. So formally spoken, it is a negative trial. But in this trial, patient characteristics were that also patients with extrahepatic disease were invited to contribute. So meaning more than 80% had their primary tumor in situ, more than 40% had also extrahepatic metastases, which were also allowed as part of the protocol. And in these patients, they had liver dominant disease. And it is maybe not surprisingly that these extrahepatic disease manifestations also contributed to the endpoint overall progression for survival. If you look specifically to the liver metastases, meaning to the liver as target organ, their progression free survival was markedly improved with a statistical significant benefit uh, in terms of liver progression free survival.